There are very few places in the world that are both diverse and integrated. In most of those places, there are also thriving, vibrant, prosperous places where people are making the most of their lives. Um, they're the places that we want to emulate for the future if we want to be the strongest we can be. Uh, I live in Avondale, but I live kind of on the borderline, uh, close to Logan Square. In my neighborhood, it was primarily when I first moved in, um, Hispanic people, but the neighborhood near us was um, a lot of Polish people live there. So that was where, um, that was like kind of like the most diverse we got. But uh, recently there's been a lot of like new like cool cafes and like shops opening around us so um, what's been happening is a lot of um, white people have been moving in, in our neighborhood and I think like because of that like it's considered like a nicer neighborhood for you to live in now and so um, I think my neighborhood's been changing um, with the diversity of people and um, it's been a little safer because of that. The neighborhood I live in is Uptown. It's uh, located on the north side of Chicago. Um, it's a very diverse area, but it's very separated too. It's very, uh, what's it, segregated. So, um, so it might have a, a lot of races, but it's like they're, they all don't really live together. Because like, so, from like maybe like Argyle to Montrose, that's where mostly like all the black people live. And Montrose to usually where like uptown wherever stops is where where all the white people live. And Argyle North is where all the Asian people live. So they're they're diverse but we're not all together. I live in the North Center, Lincoln Square neighborhood of Chicago. It's a um, very neighbor, it's a very family centric neighborhood. A lot of upper middle class um, families with children. Segregation is the system of inequality and inequity in America. That's what it is. So, segregation is the way that we divide people so that some get more and others get less. And it is very, very correlated um, with race. And the issue of segregation is really an issue of racial isolation. Segregation is you know, setting something or someone apart from something else. Or um, when we're talking about race, it means the separation of people uh, by race and it can also mean by income. Uh, Chicago is very segregated, yes. It's very segregated by race, it's very segregated by income, and those two things also are very closely correlated so that especially poor African Americans and Latinos are very isolated in the city. It disadvantages those communities, it disadvantages the people living in those communities, and one thing that we don't think about often is it disadvantages the folks who live in the white and wealthy communities as well. Um, there's definitely segregation in Chicago. Um, I go to a, my private school is very, very diverse, but a lot of the public schools in Chicago aren't diverse because it's the people coming from the same neighborhoods going to the same schools. And when you have people from the same neighborhoods who are all the same race going to the same schools, those children never really get exposed to um, these different races and cultures and languages and food that they could be learning otherwise. I don't really think there's an advantage to living in an all-black neighborhood, in my case, because 
You don't really get to branch out at all. We don't really get to learn anything new at all because we stick to what we know. Because race and class are so intertwined in Chicago, we have an effect of essentially saying we've got 44,000 people now with housing choice vouchers. 88% of them are African American. So we've essentially said, here's a way you can house yourself, but the voucher's really best used in the, in the exact same neighborhoods in which you were living in public housing before. I think there are a lot of different ways to define diversity. Um, some people might say diversity is just having different people from different backgrounds in one space, but I think true diversity is not only having people from different backgrounds in one space, but it's about having people from those backgrounds have community and have exchange uh, in a meaningful way. I don't think you can prevent people from living where they want to live and uh, buying where they want to buy. You know, I mean, a lot of times, you know, you'll have certain people moving into an area and then all of a sudden people are like, oh, I got to get out of here. This isn't for me anymore. I mean, you can, you can try with the financial aspect of it, like making sure people get loans, making sure people aren't uh, or are, able, are allowed to buy in a certain area instead of saying, you know, you can't do this at all. Um, but when it comes to choice, I mean, you, you really have to work on the people themselves. We're starting to see a generation of people who want to see Chicago be its best version of itself, and we can't be the best version of ourselves until we do have a more integrated society, because when you bring together different perspectives from different life experiences, you open up a universe of ideas and opportunities that wouldn't exist otherwise.